Another beautiful day here at the Hingham Shipyard. And of course, one of the things you can do here is get on a ship. So this morning, we're gonna take a ride on the commuter boat with Captain Steve Deshane of Weymouth. Steve is operations manager for Boston Harbor Cruises, which runs the Hingham and Quincy boats under an agreement with the T. They offer harbor cruises, whale watchers, private charters, and commuter service to Boston. An average of 3,000 people take the commuter boat each day. Well, my day starts at like 4.45 in the morning. I come Ooh. in and, uh, yeah, <laughs> I come in, make sure everything's all set, um, start checking the crew off, make sure all my crew's in because with each boat uh, is required by the Coast Guard to have a certain number of crew members per certain number of passengers it carries. And check in with the cabins, make sure all the engines and generators and mechanical aspects of the boats are okay. Meanwhile, the commuters are boarding, getting their coffee, settling in for the 30-minute trip to Boston. We have uh, we have a you know a pretty loyal ridership, um, and the, you know each boat has their own people that ride their boats and sit in their seats. From his perch up in the wheelhouse, Steve checks for stragglers. Then it's time to go. As we left Hewitt's Cove, Steve told me about the boat. It was built actually right here in Massachusetts in Gladding and Hearn down in Somerset, Mass. It's a, a twin hull or a catamaran. Um, she's got four engines and each engine drives its own water jet system. The uh, boat can top off at speeds of around 35 to 36 miles an hour or 33 knots. Uh, she can hold 400 passengers. Uh, and a crew of six, and um, you know she's got pretty much state-of-the-art electronics, a couple of radars, a navigational plotting computer, uh, AIS, VHF radios. She's got a full-service galley, you know, heat and air conditioning. Uh, so it's a pretty, pretty nice vessel. We have two of these that are identical to sister ships as this one, which is the Asteria, and then we have the Aurora. We're not propeller-driven like conventional boats. We're water jets, so we scoop water out through propellers blow it up the uh, water jets on the back that propels us, kind of like a jet ski. Uh, in your service, we operate out of Hingham. We operate uh, 52 weeks a year, Monday through Fridays. So we're first boat leaves at 6 in the morning, and the last boat leaves from Boston at 8.30 at night. Uh, our on-time record with the MBTA is, is uh, I think, 98% on-time travel. Can't say that about the red line. Uh, no, no, well, the commuter rail. <laughs> as long as I've been with this company 13 years, I think only shut down about three times. One was due to thick ice and the Coast Guard kind of got broke, uh, got stuck so they couldn't get through. Uh, the other time, the captain of the port for the United States Coast Guard shut the port down due to a blizzard. There were no thoughts of a blizzard that day. The weather was perfect. We came through the West Scott by Pettix Island, then passed Boston Light. As we approached the Long Island Bridge, Steve asked one of the crew to take over for a few minutes and we sat down to talk. Steve has a lot of experience with boats, starting with his teenage days as a launch driver at the West Augusta Yacht Club in Weymouth. And I went to Mass Maritime from 91 to 95. In the meantime, I've worked charter boats through Mass Maritime and then got out of Mass Maritime, worked tugs in New York City, wow. worked on a cable ship for a while in the Caribbean. I worked a couple of years for Transocean on a drill ship in the Gulf of Mexico. What brought you back to Boston? Uh, family family home, you know, Monday through Friday. Steve even met his wife, a naturalist, on the boat. She, yeah. she used to be a naturalist. That's how we met. We, I was a whale watch captain and she was a naturalist. How um, romantic. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. And now she's actually director of youth development for uh, the New England Aquarium. Uh, this uh -huh. year we uh, entered a partnership with the uh, New England Aquarium and uh, now we're, um, we do our, our whale watching with them as a partnership. So, so how late in the season do you do the whale watching? Uh, we run actually probably late March all the way through to late November. Wow. Uh, as long as the whales are there and the passengers are coming, we're going. Probably 95% of the time uh, we see whales. Uh, it's been, been a pretty good season. While Steve and I were talking, the commuters were enjoying their trip. Some read, some worked, some socialized, some just enjoyed the view. We were getting closer to Boston, so Steve took over the wheel. The commuters started gathering their belongings and lining up to disembark. Yeah, yeah, I would definitely say once people uh, come and give it a try for the first time, they, they kind of like it and stick around and use it as a form of transportation. I mean, like I said, we 
30 minute trip to Boston, no traffic. Have a coffee on the way in and a cocktail on the way out. And it's, you know, it's a nice, beautiful view, nice way to travel. Oh, spring, summer, and fall, you know, I can't beat being outside every day. And, you know, actually the boats are nice and air conditioned, so even during, during the heat wave, it wasn't too bad to be even on the boats. I barely had time to admire the big boats in the harbor before it was time for the return trip to Hingham. Outside, especially like a day like today, but I'm in the office. But it's a change of change of location every day. Today, you know, today we're going back and forth to Boston, and maybe go out on a whale watch, maybe we'll do a special charter one day. So it's being able to go to different locations and different spots with the boats. I'm the operations manager, so I, you know, but I also maintain my captain's license. So I'm in charge of uh, uh, four vessels for the company. Um, I do all the hiring of the crew and the cabins. I uh, do all the ordering for the boats from light bulbs to navigation equipment to um, filters, oil filters and that stuff. Um, I, you know, we set up all the inspections for the Coast Guard or all three boats that are in Hingham uh, are due for hull inspections every two years. They have to be hauled out and inspected by the Coast Guard, so I gotta line that up. It's a busy job with a lot of responsibility. But just imagine spending your work days out on the water, as Steve does. It sounds good to me. Before I knew it, we were back in Hingham, ready for the next group of commuters. Then Steve was off for another trip. I'd take it if I had to go to Boston every day. I love it. For more information on the boats, visit their website, bostonharborcruises.com.